welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there tonight. Um, tonight I was going to be listening to some more Epica. This song is The Phantom Agony, and it was requested by Kyle Butler. Everything I've heard from Epica, I say the same thing every time I do an Epica. I love everything I've heard from them. The last couple have been absolutely spectacular. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, this is from the official live, so I love seeing them live. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm excited for this one. God, I want to see these guys in live in concert someday. stop it before we get too far into it i just saw something that i really i really dug um actually i'm gonna play it ah, ah. Back to right there where um is that isaac i couldn't tell if that's isaac or that's mark holding his guitar up and cohen is actually um doing the drag across the strings I love that kind of inter um, interaction between the band mates. They're, it shows how close they are, how much they are in tune with each other, they can play with each other like that during this big, important concert, the Retrospect Live. Um, that's something, <laughs> it's hard to compare because I was in a small little garage band that never actually played any shows when I was in high school. And they're obviously Epica. But me and my um, bass player, who just happens to be still to this day one of my best friends, he would, he would bring his bass over, and I'd actually, when I was you know, the drummer, and I'd use my, he'd kind of play rhythms on his bass for just, you know, just for a second, and it was, we were just screwing around, it was fun. And that's the first thing I thought when I saw this, is getting to do that.
on that voice. Gotta take a break for a second. Um, this whole section has been great. I love the interaction with um, Mark and Isaac over there playing together. And then, um, sorry, I'm still learning some of their names. Rob. Um, Rob and Simone just absolutely having a ball together. It's so much fun to see a band have this much fun. So I just, I wanted to point that out. And of course, Aryan on the, not Aryan, Aryan, I've got Aryan. Um, is just killing those drums. He is such a great drummer. I, I'm a big fan of his. So here we go. All right, I'm going to back it up a little bit. <laughs> That voice, oh. Breathe, Simone. Hold on. I'm going to back that up. I need to hear her hit that note and hold that note for fucking ever. Excuse my language. I, I do make a concerted effort not to curse, but sometimes I just can't help it. Um, the that's She sounds so good. And even, I, you know, of course she has the um, choir backup. But she's just soaring over the choir, and her voice is so good. And like I said, that note that she just keeps hold, she just held it forever. That was crazy. I didn't even back up enough to get to the note. Oh, is this the show closer? Oh, I can hear the horns.
Or stop it. Just for a second. I'm um, assuming for the next couple minutes that they're, they're going to close out with the orchestra. I just wanted to say how much I would have killed to have been in that orchestra. I'm obviously never got to the um, height of playing to be invited into something like this, but this I can only imagine how amazing it would be to play this type of show in that orchestra. Like I said, just a minute ago, I heard these soaring French horns, which is what I played. And anytime I hear a French horn, I just get, I get chills. I love, I love the French horn. I wish I had dedicated more to playing it, to learning it better, to improving. But unfortunately, I'm now 50 and that. And I don't have access to a French horn, so that's not what happened. But I just wanted to say how amazing this orchestra and choir has been for this show. I've seen, what, five or six um, songs from it. And every one of them, the, these guys have been absolutely incredible. So I just wanted to point that out. Okay, that was Epica with The Phantom Agony, the show closer. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The band was just killing it. So you see, I, I still don't think I've seen the show opener. I'm gonna have to get to that eventually. But you can see how they kept their quality and their stamina and everything right up to the end. That was a great, a great closer. Um, I really enjoyed that, and I really liked the that the actual the actual close was the orchestra for three minutes. They did such an amazing job. Um, one other place where I've seen something like that was obviously Metallica's S and M, the original S and M from what twenty years ago, whenever it was. I remember that one because I love Metallica and I love classical music, so I actually bought the double DVD for that, and I loved watching the behind the scenes. I was, I'm wondering if there's a behind the scenes on this one, because just seeing the orchestra people, a lot of them didn't even know who Metallica was, were there just doing their job. Incredible, but there were always, there was a few people in the orchestra that were huge Metallica fans. I think one they, they highlighted was a guy, I think he was the harp player, and he was just a huge Metallica fan, which was cool. But I would be interested to find out about this orchestra, what they thought of backing up this huge metal band and see, you know, I'm just interested in what they felt about it. But anyways, um, if you like this video, give it a like. I obviously really liked it. Um, comment, any other um, suggestions for Epica or any other band, it doesn't matter. Um, let me know. 
subscribe. Your subscriptions really help. It's just a click of a button and it really helps my channel. If you want to help the channel a little bit more directly, I do have a Patreon. The link will be down in the description. But no matter how you support me, just through likes, comments, subscriptions, or Patreon, or even your views, it really means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.